Hi guys, welcome back to Beals Science. I'm Craig Beals and I am super excited because I get to show you one of the coolest gases in all of the land. This gas is sulfur hexafluoride. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? Look what it's doing to my voice. So sulfur hexafluoride is really, really heavy compared to the air around it. And it sounds like I got some digital voice thing going on, but I don't. I'll wait a lot. Let me eat a little more. But what we got going on here with the silver hats of flying is that I can't even, I can't even stand to listen to myself. This is ridiculous. Hold on, a little more. So the silver hex of fluoride is five times heavier than the air around it. So it's sitting down here inside my lungs and I'm pushing it out, but it's causing the speed of my voice or the speed of the sound coming out of my voice to change because it's more dense than the air around it. Now you can start to hear it clearing out. So you'll hear like, watch this. I breathe out, it sounds normal, but as it starts to lift back up in my lungs, you can hear it filling up and I'll get rid of all of it. But what I wanna do with you today is talk about the science of sulfur hexafluoride and also do a whole bunch of experiments with sulfur hexafluoride. So that's enough. Just for you to be. Let's get this started. Right here, a Bill Science. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Crazy boys, I love it. Freaking me out. <laughs> I've got three balloons out here, right? I'm gonna fill these up with the different gases so we can check out the difference in the properties between this, helium, the sulfur hexafluoride, and just air around us, or my breath. There we go. Tie this off, I got a little balloon of sulfur hexafluoride here. It looks just like a regular balloon. But let's compare it with, let's say, this one. Volume's about the same. Hold on, we gotta get one more with helium. Helium. We've got three balloons. <laughs> I'm gonna let go of all three of these at the same time. Helium over there, air balloon right in the middle, and sulfur hexafluoride over here. One, two, three, let go. Check out the difference in these two. One, two, three. What? Get on back here. The sulfur hexafluoride is so much more dense than the air around it that it just crashes. Check it out. It's crazy. And this thing's like a like a legitimate like a ball. It's it's got like real mass to it. And of course the helium one just blew away. I just want to do some experimenting with the sulfur hexafluoride, which is why I got out the old fish tank here. And uh, you know, that's about as nice and clean as we get a fish tank around the school here. But what I want to do is fill this up with sulfur hexafluoride. I can hear it filling up. The thing is we can't see anything happening because this is an odorless, colorless, inert gas. So what if I put a balloon in there? Well, let's see. So here's a balloon filled up with just air from, really from the atmosphere, but from my breath. And I'm gonna set that inside of there. And what we do know about sulfur hexafluoride is it's more dense than the air around it. We saw that earlier when we dropped them, which means I should be able to tell when this tank is filled up. Ha ha ha! Because the balloon is floating like a crazy balloon. It's awesome. I want to try out a couple different things here. GoPro. Inside the tank. Why not? Set it over there. And then some bubbles. Now theoretically, because I'm just going to be using my breath here, these bubbles should float on top of that gas layer. Can <laughs> you see that? I hope you can see that. Look at it, look at the bubble. Look at these bubbles. Look, I'm gonna get a bunch of little ones.
Okay, you gotta see this. You gotta see this, this is eerie. Ha <laughs> ha, and remember how it changed my voice? Well, theoretically then, it should change the pitch of these tuning forks. Here you go, I'm gonna get one really ringing. Um, listen. This has got the microphone running. So I'm gonna set it down in here. Okay, so theoretically, I should be able to scoop some of this out of here and drink or breathe it and have the same thing happen to my voice. Let's see. I don't know, did it work? Ooh, a little tiny bit. I didn't get a little more. Let's see, it actually works. Isn't that crazy? So the gas is there. You just, you can't see it. We got the balloons and the bubbles and everything else floating in there, but you forget that it's there. Now, sulfur hexafluoride is not only colorless and odorless, it is also non-flammable and inert and all of those other properties, which means if I put flame in there, it should go out. Yeah. Right away. Whoa. So this isn't something I really anticipated. When I put this in there and it went out, the smoke stayed in this nice little layer floating on top of the gas. So I'm gonna see if I can show you this. We got the flame. All right, check this out. This is like the, my safety blast shield that I use in the lab. And it's got a bit of a lip here. So if I lay it down this way, it's on a little incline coming towards you. I'm gonna turn this into a fire ramp and see if we can't pour the sulfur hexafluoride down and have candles go out so we can see just how heavy this is. <laughs> there goes nothing, light them up. Here's the thing. I really have no idea what's gonna happen. I do understand that this will put out a flame because it's a non-flammable gas and it is heavier than the air around it. So theoretically it should run down my little track here, but I don't know if the layer is going to be thick enough to actually overcome the top of these little tea candles, like to be high enough to go down and put them out. Here we go. Ready? Oh my gosh, it worked way better than I thought it would. Okay, it just totally overtook everything in a flash and it went out. There's one more thing people always ask. What if you inhale helium and sulfur hexafluoride at the same time? Well, I think I've got just enough sulfur hexafluoride to try to answer that question. And I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. This is one of those things I have yet to try. So this is gonna be a first for me too. Right here, for all of you watching Beal Science. Let's get to the bottom of this once and for all. Helium versus sulfur hexafluoride. And then when we combine the two, what do we get? Just to prove this is helium. Remember, helium is lighter than the air around it, so it makes your voice really high. If helium is lighter than the air around it and it makes your voice go high, sulfur hexafluoride. If it's more dense than the air around it, so it makes your voice go really low. But what happens when you mix these two in relatively equal amounts? Will it even itself out? Hey, what do you think? Oh boy, I think I got a little more of the sulfur hexafluoride than I did of the helium. Or it's sticking around longer because I can hear it, a little more helium. Hey, there we go. Look, that's almost totally normal. <laughs> I mean, as normal as 
my voice ever really sounds. Isn't that incredible? Hey, I tell you what, man, this is what we do here at Beal Science, right? We experiment, we try to find the answers to everything. Really what I'm trying to do is inspire people to enjoy the greater things about science. So I appreciate you watching. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button down there. There's a little bell next to it. If you hit that, you'll get a warning every time I upload a new video. And there's plenty of videos showing up somewhere on the screen right now. And always, if you want to learn more, if you want to see more, if you want to be part of the madness, come over to BealScience.com. Keep on learning.